MLB The Show welcomes you to the city of brotherly love. We're at Citizens Bank Park as we get set to bring you this edition of Major League Baseball. Interleague Baseball on tap here tonight as it'll be the Texas Rangers taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian, happy to have you along for what looks like an entertaining matchup. I'm joined, as always, in the booth by my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. And, Dave, we begin with you. What looks most interesting about this matchup? Well, Matt, with no DH at play, it's going to force the managers to do a little more managing. We might see some things like bunning and double switches that the American League managers really aren't used to. Let's see if that's a factor. All right, Dave, and we'll hear from Rex in a bit, but now it's time to check out our starting lineup for the visiting Texas Rangers as presented by State Farm. At home or away, State Farm is there. Elvis Andrews will lead things off and be the shortstop. After that, second baseman Ian Kinsler. Josh Hamilton bats third and plays left field. Next, Adrian Beltre. He of the 48 home runs in 2004. He plays third. After that, the right fielder, Nelson Cruz. Mitch Moreland will be at first base and hit sixth. Your Vittorio Alba is behind the plate. He'll hit seventh. Julio Bourbon bats eighth and plays center. C.J. Wilson will bat number nine as he is on the mound. They'll match up against the man with both a no-hitter and a perfect game on his ledger, the 2010 National League Cy Young Award winner, Roy Halladay. A look there at the Phillies alignment defensively as they feature not one but two three-time Gold Glove Award winners up the middle. Jimmy Rollins at short and Shane Victorino out in center. Elvis Andrews makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. And a swing and a miss, so a first pitch strike as we're underway here this evening. soft liner to the right side and this is going to be a foul ball on a good curveball gets him swinging for wrap number one boy that's a beauty of a pitch check out where this thing is he'd like to stay down there all night if he can Ian Kinsler digs in at the plate First pitch coming. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. Francisco is there. Two down. Well, Matty, two up, two down. He's looking for a one, two, three first inning. Josh Hamilton will step in now. That's taken high and outside for ball one. And he's trying to run that one back on the outside corner, but it didn't quite get there. Bases are empty here with two men out. 1-0 on the way. Now he turns on one and rips it down the line, but foul. And that's taken for a cold strike two. And they'd love to get through this first inning. One, two, three. There's no doubt about that. One, two is the cut fastball, but he holds back two and two. Cutter got him swinging. Strike three, and the side is retired. So a fairly painless top of the first. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. Starting lineup for the Phillies will look like this. Again, brought to us by State Farm. 
Jimmy Rollins will lead things off and be the shortstop. Placido Polanco will bat second, he's at third. Then comes Chase Utley, he'll be at second base. Ryan Howard is in the cleanup spot at first base. Shane Victorino follows out in center field. Then comes the left fielder Raul Ibanez. Ben Francisco, the right fielder, bats seventh. Behind him is Carlos Ruiz behind the plate. And batting ninth and doing the pitching, Roy Halladay. C.J. Wilson will get the call to face them, and the key for him will almost certainly be getting ahead in the count early. We've seen in the past, when he's forced to work from behind, he can run into some problems. And in the field behind him, the Rangers will look like this. Ready to go now in the home half of inning number one as shortstop Jimmy Rollins makes his way toward the box. On the ground down the first baseline, foul. Now a swing as he shoots this one over to first. And that gets through into right as he starts the inning out here with a leadoff single. Well, leadoff man on to start the bottom of the first. And now we'll see if they want to make something happen early and send him in motion here. Placido Polanco will get his first cuts here. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. Cruz has to back up a bit, but he has it shy of the wall for the first out. Chase Utley will dig in here. The check on Rollins, now the pitch. And that misses inside 1-0. and Yeah, trying to take back control of that inside part of the plate. That's where you want to be. In there, one and one. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Drifting back behind first now. Kinsler camps under it and he's got it for route number two. Ryan Howard will be the batter. is popped high in the air toward the left side. Beltre is there to make the catch and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. We'll move to inning number two here in Philadelphia with no score. Adrian Beltre leads things off now in the top half of the second. First pitch coming. Fouled back. And this one's nowhere close as the catcher can't even get a glove on it. It's ball one. Take it to the bag himself for the out. Nelson Cruz will be the batter.
Fouled straight back. Cutter low, one and one. He'll look for something a little higher. Outside, two and one. No score here as we play inning number two. Swing and a ball lifted into straightaway center. Victorino is there now, and he has it, two gone. Mitch Moreland will get his first opportunity now. Cy Young quality curveball there by Halliday as he gets ahead, no balls and a strike. Grounded right, we'll foul toward the coaching box at third. Stays alive as this is grounded foul. Another 0-2 coming. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. And the cutter got him swinging. Strike three and the side is retired. A good inning there for Halliday. Still nothing, nothing. Shane Victorino will start things off in the bottom of the second. And here's the first pitch. And he gets ahead 0-1. And he'll just live on the black right there. Good changeup, and it's 0 2. Here's the pitch. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. And he'll wait for something a little higher that he can do something with. And here's the ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. And no one will get this one. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Well, he had the right approach here. He wants to take this thing the other way. Problem is, it was too far outside to begin with. Raul Abanya will take his cuts now. Now here's the first pitch. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. And after a very economical first, let's see if he mixes things up a bit. And good contact there as this is hit high and deep to right center. This will kick up against the wall now. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. 
When you talk about veteran know-how, this guy's been around a lot of years, so he knows what's going on up there. So a runner on second with one down now, and standing in the right-handed hitting Ben Francisco. First pitch to him. And that's in there for a strike. One of the secrets of his longevity in this game, work fast, change speeds, and throw strikes. And there's ball one. Fouled straight back. Bottom of the second here with no score. And a fastball. Mm, tough take there, but it's even back at two and two. Here's the two and two offering. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Carlos Ruiz will take his first cuts of the ball game here. And he takes ball one. Good patience there to stay back and watch that all the way. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. In for strike two. And that misses, and we're even at two and two. See if they try and stay out there again. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Really pinching him there. That should have been the final pitch of the inning. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We played two full, and we are tied nothing nothing. Your Victoria Alba is ready to go here as we begin the third. And this one's down off the shoe tops, 1-0. and oh. All he could have done with that is yank it into the dugout. Blowing away as he misses again, 2-0. and oh. And there is ball three now, as that one's not even close. The ball boy will have to retrieve that one. And 
And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. I don't know if he's just nibbling here or he can't find the range, but the leadoff walk has him in early trouble here to start the inning. Julio Bourbon will get his first shot at it here. Here's the first pitch to him. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. And that's in there. Base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. C.J. Wilson will dig in with a couple of guys in scoring position and a chance to take the lead here in the early going. And Halliday jumps ahead with the fastball for strike one. And one of the reasons this guy's been in the bigs for so long is that he knows the importance of first pitch strikes. Come set, now the pitch. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. Tried to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. And he'll need some new lumber if he goes after that. Got him to reach for it there as this is grounded to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good job of staying with it that time as he's retired. They'll take the good with the bad here. They're able to get the out at first, but meanwhile, the runner from third is across with the first run of the ball game. Elvis Andrews will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Missed low and inside with it, one and one. Runner breaks for third. Pitch is a cold strike, the throw. And he nails him at third, great throw. This is just a great grab and release by the catcher. He's got to get that thing out in a hurry, and that was right on the money. I don't give it to him. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Rangers lead this one one to nothing. Roy Halladay makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. And at least he's keeping that thing low. He won't get hurt down there. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike two. The pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. Oh. 
swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Boy, that's a beauty right there. As a hitter, you see fastball out of his hand, then boom, it's gone. Great pitch. So one gone here in the Philadelphia third, and here's the speedster Jimmy Rollins. That's high for a ball, 1-0. and oh. One -oh pitch is a slider, swung on and missed, 1-1. One and one. And there's ball two now. Might have wanted to go up and get that one, but wisely laid off. The 2-1 home to Rollins. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's 3-1 now. Placido Polanco waits on deck. Called strike, and that'll run it full. And this is fouled straight back. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. He'll try it again, three and two. And this is lined hard to deep left. And this is pulled in on the run. Good concentration, and there are two gone. Placido Polanco will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Low for ball one. And even when you're missing low with a fastball, it can still effectively set up your other pitches. Two out, nobody on. Now the 1-0 pitch. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. And he gets this fastball over, it's two and one. Grounded foul. The 2 2 coming. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he swings and hits this ball high in the air and deep to left center field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And now this will rattle up against the fence. But he is in there with a triple. Well, he puts a pretty good charge into this one and sends it into the gap in left center. Normally that'd be two bases, but he never stops and turns it into a hustle triple. So a man at third here with two gone and making his way in is the second baseman Chase Utley. And this is 
taken outside for ball one. Lays off the fastball away, and it's 2-0. And here in the early stages, he's already up over 40 pitches now. Here comes the 2-0. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. On now to the top of inning number four. The Rangers lead it one to nothing. Ian Kinsler will stand in, a line-out victim his first time. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. inside with the sinker and that'll keep him honest at the plate and he'll run that sinker inside and keep guys from diving out called a strike there two and one And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Josh Hamilton will be next. Three one on the way. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. Well, Dave, you talked about it earlier, but it bears repeating. Leadoff walks can be killers for pitchers. Right into the stretch for him now, so he's got to bear down and get him a ground ball. Josh Hamilton will dig in. Strikeout victim his last time. Down and in here, one ball, no strikes. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 now. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. And out of here! So a two-run shot to left center as it's now a 3-0 ball game. Well, the key here is that he waited, 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 and bang. Sometimes guys fall all over themselves trying to hit that changeup. But he was extra patient that time, and it paid off. Adrian Beltre will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First pitch coming. And this is low, ball one. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. <laughs> this pitcher knows after all these years he got away with one there. 1-1 pitch on the way. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. To the right side, but foul, and he'll try it again.
boy, and good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. And this is a bad pitch to chase down below the knees. He's got to show more discipline than that. Nelson Cruz will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Cut fastball in there for a strike. It's 0-1. Matt, he can spot that cutter down in the zone or he can challenge guys with it. And a curveball that he didn't get on top of there. It's 1-1. One and one. One, one on the way. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball and two strikes. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. Howard is there, two down. Mitch Moreland will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. Swing and a high pop-up back onto the outfield grass now. Well, they set up inside and ran one in on him, but he gets good wood on it anyway. So a runner at first with two away, and digging in the catcher, your Victorialba. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. Oh, and when you've got a good changeup like that, it just makes your fastball even better. A runner on first with two away. From the belt now, Halliday's pitch. Line softly to the right side. Foul. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. And the cutter got him swinging. Strike three and the side is retired. So it's two runs here on two hits with one of them being the home run. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Rangers on top here, three to nothing. Ryan Howard will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Swing and a line drive to center field. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Well, he kicks this inning off with a bang as a leadoff double has him in business now with nobody out. Shane Victorino will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Back-to-back -back fastballs here as he takes control 0-2. And, and 
Swing and a ball line softly down the right field line. And this is going to be a foul ball. Ready with another 0-2. That misses 1-2. and two. Doesn't have the greatest discipline up there, but even he won't go after that 0-2. A runner at second, nobody out. Now a ball hit high and deep out there to left center field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. A run is in. The relay. And he is in there with an RBI triple. Second triple of the game for these guys, and much like the last one, it was just a case of a guy showing real hustle right out of the batter's box. Raul Abanya will stand in here. He doubled his first time around. Ball one. The 1-0 pitch. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. In the air now to straightaway right field. Cruz is there. Let's see if they try it. The tag as he holds on, and that guy is meat at home plate. I can't really question the decision to try and tag here, as it was going to take a great throw to get him, and that's just what happened. Ben Francisco would get another shot, struck out swinging his last time. Fastball just misses for ball one. One-o -oh pitch now. And it runs outside, so it goes to two and oh now. Not a bad spot to miss. He might even go chase it out there. and he takes this the other way to right. On the run, and he has it to retire the side. So it's one run on two hits, no errors, and no one left. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Rangers lead this one three to one. Julio Bourbon will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Here's the first offering. And this misses outside and a bit high. One ball, no strikes. Yeah, and when you leave it up in the hitter's eyes like that, he knows enough not to chase out there. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Rollins backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. C.J. Wilson will step in, a ground-out victim as last time. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Ball one. And 
this one's up around the eyes, two and one. And he hits the corner with that one, two and two. Boy, that's just not a pitch you can do much with. Hard cutter on the outer half, that's nasty. Here it comes. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. One of the perils of playing by National League rules, no DH means the pitcher has to hit, and he was obviously both overmatched and underprepared for that at bat. Elvis Andrews is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much and it's two and oh. And he's starting to get up there in pitches now worth keeping an eye on. And here's a fastball for a strike. Two and one now. Here he comes on two and one. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Ian Kinsler would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And the cutter can't find the zone as he surrenders the base on balls here. He looked good in setting down the first two guys of the inning, but now we'll see if that two-out walk comes back to bite him. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Ian Kinsler. Down on the shins and missed with it, ball one. The next pitch. Runner goes for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Looking to move into scoring position with two out, but a good throw there. Nailed it. So they go down without a whimper here. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Rangers lead it 3-1. to one. Carlos Ruiz will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. First pitch on the way. In there at the letters 0-1. On the corner like he wanted, but I think that pitch needs to come down a bit more or it'll get hit. And this ball will be chopped foul. Now the pitch. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle. What a stop by Kinsler. Throw, got him. And I'm going to tell you, that is an incredible play. Mm, this pitch was basically begging to be hit a long way, but all he could do with it was hit a ground ball for the out. Roy Halliday digs in at the plate. First pitch coming. Down the line, but this is a foul ball.
strike two. No need to panic down 0-2. Just need to focus on making a little contact. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's the pitch. Low and away with that one, it's one and two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Pulled the string on him right there, and he was way too early on that changeup. Jimmy Rollins will step in. One for two in the ballgame. And the pitch. And that swung on and missed for strike one. He got away with that pitch, Matt, but his veteran know-how was nowhere to be seen there. Think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. Two out, nobody on. Here it comes. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Trying to backdoor him, but it stays outside just a bit. And the fastball easy to lay off that time. Two and two. Two-two pitch on the way. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Placido Polanco would be next. Swing and a hard ground ball to third. Right there is Beltre. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Phillies down in order. They still trail it here three to one. Ian Kinsler will get things started here in the top of inning number six. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And no one will get this one. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Pitch taken there by Kinsler, and he's out in front now. Two balls and a strike. Sometimes guys go down and get the soft stuff. Not there. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Josh Hamilton is on deck. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. Here's the full count offering. Fouled back. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Yeah, that won't be lost on his teammates. That was a great at-bat. 
Josh Hamilton will try again after hitting that two-run homer his last time around. And this is hit well towards the hole. And that's past the diving infielder for a base hit. And they're looking to perhaps break things open here in the middle innings with two on. They might be one extra base hit away from doing so. Jose Contreras will come in and pitch now. So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And here comes Beltre. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats foul. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at one and one. Yeah, trying to get him to chase out there, but that ball had too much tail on it. On the ground is short. This could be two. Utley for one. Over to Howard, and indeed, they get them both. Well, you want to talk about making your skipper look like a genius? First guy he faces after coming into the game, bang, a double play ball. Someone just earned some brownie points. Nelson Cruz will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And a strike at the knees, more like at the shins, but it's nothing in one. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball, one and one. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and the ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Swing and the ball line down in the left field corner, but foul. Here he comes again, 1-2. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air into foul territory behind first. Howard is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. The Rangers on top here, three to one. Placido Polanco will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. Starts things here with a changeup for a called strike. Now the pitch. And low, it's a ball and a strike. And he's got enough in the tank for another inning or two, but he's closing in on 80 pitches now, so that's worth keeping an eye on. And a swing, and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Now a ball hit foul down the line in right, and in amongst the fans. Yeah. 
just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. He'll try again, one, two. Misses, ball two. Now ball hit toward third, but this is gonna wind up a foul ball. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. A lot of power in this Phillies lineup, but they've been unable to get anything going to this point in the game. Their bats have been very quiet. Chase Utley will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. Swing and a ball hit in the air to right field and deep back is the right fielder, but he will look up and watch this one sail out of here. Solo shot that time from Chase Utley as it's now a 3-2 ball game. Boy, Matt, he got every bit of this thing straight away right field and that ball just kept going and going and going. Ryan Howard will step in. One for two in the ball game. Outside with the fastball that's 1-0. and oh. Now the 1-0 pitch. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. One and one. Wow, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. A few pitches to play with now. Let's see if they can get him to fish at something. One out, nobody on. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Boy, that's not what you'd consider a sweeping slider. That's a nasty slider. Tough to do anything with that. Shane Victorino will step in, one for two in the ball game. Ball one. Yeah, looking to run that thing back to the low inside corner, but that's not one guys will chase very often. Hit hard, but foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Set up by Torrey Alba, the 1-1. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air, but this will be foul off to the right out of play. Out of play. Rolled softly down the line, and that is a foul ball. And that misses two and two. Here's the pitch. 
Now here's another pitch fouled off and heading for the seats. And he's just fighting to stay alive here. Still two and two. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. But the damage is done as thanks to the solo home run, this is now a one-run game. We're through six full. The Rangers lead this one three to two. Mitch Moreland will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Now a fastball to start things out. Didn't miss by a lot, but it's 1-0. This is just off the outside corner, ball two. And this is hit high in the air and crossing into foul ground behind third. And no one will get this one. Here's a swing and heads up as he had to hit the deck for dear life that time. Now the 2-2 pitch. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line in right. And that'll get down for a base hit. But it won't be in time, and it's a leadoff double. He's going to turn on this pitch. Have a look. Pulls it right down the right field line and glides in with a double. Your Victoria Alba will step in with a big opportunity to get that insurance run home from second. And here's the first pitch. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Very tight ball game. Three to two our score in inning number seven. And that misses 2-0. and oh. And he'll sling that thing across the strike zone, but he can't nip the corner. From the belt, kicks and deals. Ball three as he misses low with it here. And I don't think he'll get anything here as they're just trying to set up the double play ball. in there on the corner three and one just a perfect spot for that fastball now the three one pitch lined up the middle that's in there base hit and the runner will score from second looked like a fastball that time Started out in the outside part of the plate, but he's able to get the bat head through and wrap it up the middle for the base hit. Julio Bourbon will step in. One for two in the ball game. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing in one.
Nobody out, runner on first. Working quickly now as the splitter's in there, 0-2. Both teams with six hits so far. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. Dive, but it's just past his outstretched glove for a base hit. And this is where having quick hands through the zone really pays off. This thing's on the inside half, and he gets through the zone quickly that time and pulls it for a base hit. C.J. Wilson will stand in, and you can almost guarantee he'll be trying to move those runners here. He's ready now, the pitch. Now a bunt attempt, and it looks like a good one. And a barehanded pickup. Only play to first, so the sacrifice works that time. Well, this is a tough situation because everybody in the ballpark knows what he's going to do, but he gets it down and moves both guys up. Elvis Andrews will dig in. 0 for 2 with two strikeouts thus far. ball there from Contreras. Good pitch. It's 0-1. Second and third here. One man out. Now a swing and a high fly ball and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. Francisco is there and that should be deep enough to score the run. Sacrifice fly in the RBI that time as you got to figure he got the job done there. Ian Kinsler will stand in. Base on balls his last time. And a fastball's in there for strike one. With a good hitter up there, it's always good to get ahead in the count early. Right field. And he's going to get to this thing on the run, and a fine play there will end the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Bottom of the seventh now. Get up and stretch here in Philly. Texas is out in front, 5-2. to two. Raul Banya will get another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. Fouled back. Ball driven the other way out to deep left field. And that is over the wall. Home run. So a solo shot there from Raul Abanez. And it's a 5-3 game now. Well, let's get a look at this one more time. This ball's running out of steam a little at the end. And the left fielder gives it a run, but he just can't pull it back. It was a good effort, though. Darren O'Day is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Ben Francisco will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Line hard into left. In there, a base hit. 
Well, they summon the righty out of the bullpen to get a favorable matchup, but this time it backfires on him. So a runner at first now with nobody out, and stepping in is the catcher, Carlos Ruiz. From the belt, the pitch hit hard, but just foul, and that was just about extra bases. Big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. Let's take another look as he takes advantage of the opportunity here and clobbers this thing, and that goes for an easy double. Ross Glord will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. And he's established speed on the outside corner now. Goes the other way as this is line to left. Hamilton is there. Let's see if they try it. And here's a dive, and they got him. It's a double play. What an effort. I can't really question the decision to try and tag here as it was going to take a great throw to get him, and that's just what happened. So a runner at second, two down now, and that'll bring in the former MVP, shortstop Jimmy Rollins. Right there for strike one. Boy, tough pitch right out of the chute in this at bat. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. At the knees, rolled the ball. It's one and one now. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. So one run on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and one man left on base. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Rangers on top here, five to three. A new pitcher ready to take over now, the Cuban-born right-hander Danny Baez. Josh Hamilton will dig in. He singled his last time around. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Drops another curveball in on him, and he's got him guessing here. It's 0-2.
Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Yeah, and he'll look for something a little higher here. Base is empty here with nobody out. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Sets the 2-2 pitch. Line to the right side. And this is going to be a foul ball. And here's a ball rolled foul. Still two strikes. In the air to left. Ibanya is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. So one gone now in the Texas half of the eighth. And digging in the third baseman, Adrian Beltre. First pitch to him. And there's the fastball by Baez as he jumps ahead here. No balls and a strike. Swing and a liner toward right center. And that gets down out there for Beltre. Could be extra bases. Well, the scouting report says he likes the ball up and in, and he proves the scouts right on this one. Nice A-B. Nelson Cruz will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. And he gets ahead with the curveball. Strike one. Boy, they could really use a double play ball here. But a strikeout wouldn't be too bad either. Down and away, ball one. Don't think he had a feel for his release point there. Now the 1-1. One, one. Now here's a ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here. A two-run blast to straightaway right field as it is now 7-3. to three. Well, Matt, you'll get a look at this one more time. This pitch was just served up on a platter, and he absolutely devoured it. Mitch Moreland will step in. He doubled and later scored his last time. Here's the first offering. Breaking ball as this runs in on him and he has to step out of the way that time. Both teams have nine hits on the scoreboard. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Ready with the two one. And he misses again, ball three. Fastball is taken for a strike and he runs it full three and two.
Bases are empty, one man out. Full count offering on its way. Now here's a slow grounder to the left side. Throw not in time, and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. Well, and he's on base again here with one out, as that's his third hit of the game. Your Vittorialba will step in, one for two in the ballgame. Right through it here, and he's behind 0-1. You know they'd love to get him something he could hit on the ground here. Maybe get him out of the inning. Outside for a ball, one and one. One one pitch on the way. Mm, can't do much with that one. It's one and two. Uh, Matt, that starts right in on his hands and breaks right back over the plate. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Here's the two and two offering. And a split finger pitch runs in on him and that'll back him off the plate. Julio Bourbon will be next barring a double play ball. On the ground to second base. This could be two. Rollins. Relay to Howard, and it's in time. The double play, that ends the inning. So two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and no one left on base. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Rangers lead it 7-3. to three. Placido Polanco will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. And that's by him. It's 0-1. The pitch. And now a swing and a routine fly ball out towards center. And he's going to get there to make a fine running catch. And there's your first out of the inning. Jay Sutley will dig in. A home run his last time. Here's the first pitch to him. And, hmm, not quite sure what was wrong with that one, but it's 1-0. Now a ball swung on and taken the opposite way out toward fairly deep left center. And this will find the gap. Extra bases for Utley. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Well, as you can see, that's their fourth double of the game as they continue to hit the stuffing out of the ball here. Ryan Howard will dig in. Strikeout victim is last time. And that misses ball one. Both teams with an even 10 hits in the ball game. And a fastball in there for a strike, one and one. That's a little too good to let go, but not necessarily something he could do anything with. Runner at second here with one man out.
And this looked to be on the outside corner, but it's called a ball anyway. Two and one. Swing and a ball hit in the air to right field and deep back is the right fielder, but he will look up and watch this one sail out of here. A two-run blast to straightaway right field, and that lead is trimmed to 7-5 here. Offense has certainly not been the problem so far. It's not often that your team can hit three home runs in a game and still be losing, but that's happening right here. So with a lefty waiting, they'll go to a lefty of their own out of the bullpen here. Victorino will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. First pitch on the way. Swing and a ball popped high in the air and heading for foul territory behind first. Moreland takes charge and he's got it. Two down. Raul Abanya will dig in here. Lefty versus lefty, and the first pitch misses for ball one. Two out, nobody on. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 oh now. And in a close ball game, I think you let him throw you one here. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Goes the other way as this is down the line at third. Base hit. Twelve hits now for him in the ball game. Three of them by this guy right here. He is really pacing this offensive attack. Ben Francisco will step in. A base hit in his last time. Swing and a soft liner back up the middle. And this is taken for the out. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We've played eight full. Texas is out in front, seven to five. J.C. Romero will be the new pitcher. Julio Bourbon will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. Watch your man already. Ninth inning underway as the first pitch misses for ball one. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. No outs, nobody on. One one on the way. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Yeah, you're always looking to keep guys honest with fastballs on the inside part of the plate.
three and one. Yo, wait this guy. Here he comes, three one. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. Throw over by Utley, one away. Kind of hurried the throw here when he didn't need to, but the first baseman saves the air. That was a nice play. Michael Young will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. First pitch coming. Now here's the ball hit high and deep out to left center field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. <laughs> well, a lot of times as a pinch hitter, you'd like to take a pitch or two just to get the feel for things. But he's a first pitch swinger there, and he comes through. Elvis Andrews will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. And here's the first pitch. Too low, 1-0. Oh. Swinging a soft liner to the right side. And that's through into right field for a base hit. couple of guys on base here as they look to perhaps get a few insurance runs here in the late innings. Ian Kinsler will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. Runners on the move for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Tag applied by Utley and he is out at second base. If at once you don't succeed, try and try again. And he's going to keep on trying as he gets thrown out again. Hits softly to the right side. Close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. So it's no run on two base hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll head now to the bottom of the ninth. The Rangers lead this one 7-5. to five. And on to try and shut the door here, the electric young right-hander Neftali Feliz. Carlos Ruiz will dig in. He doubled his last time. In there for strike one. He's got to find a way to get on any way he can. Here it comes. And he swings under the fastball here as this is popped high in the air back behind short. Andrews will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Wilson Valdez will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Called strike on the corner. He didn't like that call. I don't blame him. One out, nobody on. It. 
Goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. On to first, and there were two down. Well, this is one you got to lay off as a batter because all you're going to do is drive it into the ground. Jimmy Rollins will stand in as their last chance now. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. Hamilton is there. Makes the catch and the ball game is over. Boy, and a good pitch to end this thing as he just couldn't get enough oomph behind that swing. Fellas, as always, a few guys we could have chosen from, but out of everybody, Dave, I think the guy you see here is most deserving of being our top player of the game. Yeah, man, you can see a couple of hits, including an important home run, and he really supplied the difference in this game as far as I'm concerned. So that brings us to the conclusion of this one. For my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler and all of us here at the show, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. Once again, our final score... The Rangers come out on top, 7-5. to five. This has been a presentation of MLB 11, The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. So long, everybody.